Ineos Giacomo and um, today I'm working on building uh, from scratch pretty much uh, an exhaust uh, you know for um, a vent for uh, an indoor dryer washer and dryer the people who install it it is in a condominium I'm up on the 10th floor 10th floor and when they install it you know very funny about it they never put it because there was none and then no way to do it unless they use the bathroom one there was um, no no exhaust so they just let the thing blow all the heat and everything inside the apartment and um, I was called to check on it because also they hook up the hot water and the um, cold water inverter so the machine was actually when you wash cold was hot when it was supposed to be hot it was cold so I fixed that but when, it, when I went to the back I noticed a big mess with lint and I mentioned it to the owner so I told me see what you can do about it and let me show you what I came up with okay so now we are um, sorry about the echo the place is empty at the moment it's between tenants um, that's what I came up with to build a, and I have something else I should show in a second but I think I'm just gonna go with this because everything is so expensive now so this thing this pen is uh, technically a metal re recess uh, vent box you know and uh, sort of four inch dryer duct technically it's the part that goes in the wall but because you see like that but because I thought I need something to make an exhaust and I bought actually the one where you can actually butterfly here he has the little flaps you uh, for um, connecting a four inch to a box I don't know what I heck I put it so we're gonna use that instead anyway the, um, then I bought of course the um, flexible foil duct is actually eight feet by four inches that's like sixteen dollars everything went up so much in some places is even twenty dollars you know the rigid one those filters I thought they might be a good thing to have they will block I guess I should have got it one with carbon but I like that you can see when it's getting too dirty I don't want it to stop everything but stop the majority of the lint and keep it inside this box now a concern was to be flame proof and this one is uh, metal uh, so it's, uh, I guess it's gonna go nice um, there's metal, metal, so everything is metal that I know that can handle the heat and, and to mount those I was going to install a little strip but then I came up with the idea to use magnet and it actually can fit this way also um, pretty good so anyway those were actually so 15, 16 dollar each that's crazy those um, filter for a range hood and this was $45, so that's like $5. Each clamp was like $3.28. The cheapest thing is those magnets, uh, like a um, dollar for two, a uh, Harbor Freight, and they're pretty powerful. So um, instead of work wasting a lot of time on it, I'm gonna use those magnets, and they're pretty strong to hold my filters in place. And the duct was 16, so we got like uh, pretty much. Uh, a twelve dollar but you're gonna need only probably two three of those so three ten dollars there almost um forty dollars for the filter with taxes so fifty my god yeah fifty is a lot of money seventy uh, is almost hundred twenty dollars under fifteen here of materials wow anyway that's gonna be my indoor uh, vent for a dryer it's pretty sturdy it's not what the cheap uh, plastic one it's like twenty dollar but it's just so flimsy and so cheap because of space i could not use it because it's gonna go on top of the dryer and have only five in five inch actually six inches of uh, clearance to have my box for vent so let me get started okay my indoor uh, dryer vent is done as you can see it's pretty sturdy um, I use uh, one of those uh, rings to mount uh, my connector as you can see it's pretty sturdy doesn't go anywhere and same for the filter actually the magnet 
doing a great job. So there is a total three dollars for all those six magnets, and they are keeping my filter in place. So I was afraid to use screws, so somebody might get cut. The magnet is the most logical, simple solution because anybody can use it just to replace them once you're done washing or cleaning the filters. And I slightly bend the filter so they will follow the shape of the container. So we are done with that and I'm pretty confident we will block most of the particles or lint and they are easy to wash because they use on stoves. Uh, so that, that's uh, it's not something I made. They are actually pretty widespread in every household. So people are familiar with those. Okay, and that's my connector. So now I'm gonna install my filter and uh, exhaust filter and see what happened. And I was planning to use that and I changed my mind. So I'm from the back of the washer and dryer go up and then hook up a little piece of that and then go into, but just redundant. It is pretty expensive also. It's like 30 something dollars for that. So I will not use it. I will just use the flex and the stuff you see there. Okay, let me get going. Anyway, my little concussion here is done. You can see I attach the flex tube to it. I just need to hook up to the back of the dryer. I just want to show you what was on the other side, the clamp holding the conduit. I'm putting my filter back on. And the manual, like I said, they are indeed very strong considering the money I paid. Okay, let me get up to the machine and we're ready to roll. As you can see, that's what happened before, you know, that's, that I already cleaned most of it. I got to clean the rest. Technically, the um, machine was blowing everything in the back. There was nothing hooked up. There's my gadget there, my new lint, indoor lint uh, trap. I presume it's going to be fine, but for sure better than what was there was nothing. And like I say, it's completely, I would say, safe because it's all metal. There is really nothing else but metal on it. Uh, besides, I mean, I guess it's metal too, this flex tube, but it's absolutely okay for use into. Uh, the only thing I suggest every couple of weeks to check, depending on the usage for um, lint inside and clean those filters. But well, that's it for today. I'm gonna push back the machine, but first I clean in the back of it. And that's Ingenious Giacomo, how to make a custom heavy duty lean trap for indoor usage of a dryer. You can actually put water in that one, you know, uh, uh, for um, like the, the one you buy in the store, they recommend putting water, but I guess it will be a little awkward. I don't have much space, sadly, so I have to kind of keep it on top of it. But there is enough um, cord to pull it out and do the maintenance on it. Enough of the duct work, eight feet long. Just need to put back the closet door and I'm finished, you know. Uh, but uh, it does fit perfectly. I have enough um, hose to bring it out and clean it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you can. And thumbs up if you can.